Hey folks, it's Colin with Platinum Copier Solutions back with another how-to. Today I'm going to show you how to set up scanning to shared network folders on Windows 10 and 11. Uh, these are step-by-step -step instructions to start from scratch creating a user and a folder. If you already have users, you're free to use whichever user you like and whichever folder you like. That being said, let's get started. The first step is to create a user. So click in the search bar, type control panel, go ahead and open that up. Next, click on User Accounts. After that, click on User Accounts again. And we want to click on Manage Another Account here and add a new user in PC Settings. Click on Add Account. And then we want to click, we don't want to use a Microsoft uh, user for this, so let's click I don't have this person's sign in information and then add a user without a Microsoft account. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to call this scans and I'll make the password the same. Ooh, uh, pet's first name, Tommy. Go through these security questions. Okay. Click Next, and now your account's created. Next, we want to create the folder where we want the scans to land. So I have my C drive open here, but you can put this anywhere you like. Create a new folder, or use a folder that you already have created on a server or elsewhere. Once you create that, you want to make sure you click on it to highlight it, and then right-click and go to Properties, and then move to the Sharing tab. Go ahead and click Share. And you can add the account that you just created here, or you can add everyone if you want. And make sure you got read and write access for the account that you created and click share. Once this is shared, you'll see the folder path that you're going to need in the copier's web page. So go ahead and open this up. And then if you click in the address bar, it'll highlight it for you where you can copy that to make it really simple to put in on the web page. Okay. The next step is the copier's address book. So when you open this up, it's going to look like this. Click address book. Click add. And you can name this whatever you'd like to call it. Server scans, for instance. And then we want to scroll down and move from the email tab to the network folder tab. Go ahead and paste that path in here. And then put in the username and password that you created earlier. There's some preferences here like file type, whether you want it to be OCR or not, but most of that stuff can be left on default for most purposes. And then go ahead and click Submit. Now that that's in there, you can go over to the copier's touchscreen and test that out. Uh, this is just a remote session I have with the copier here in our office. So now when I tap Scan, I'm going to see that Server Scans folder that I just created. Go ahead and highlight that. Tap Start piece of paper in the copier, off it goes. So now when I check my scans folder, I should find the file there, and there it is. So that's all there is to it. I hope you learned something today. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe if this was helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.